Hail. In today's video I'm gonna be talking about ambient tones. But instead of creating a preset and then just playing it or picking one of my old presets that I already made, I decided to make something different this time. The first thing that I'm gonna do is run it through the signal chain, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because I want to actually play this preset and not talk about it. The first thing is the amp, of course, and I went with who what 100 this time, and that's the high watt 100, uh, the one you all know for sure. Inside all of the blocks that I'm gonna show you now, uh, you'll see this little icon, and this means that the drive, the bass, or whatever control is controlled by snapshots. The next thing is the cabinet, and I went with the matching cabinet because why not? The microphone is the 57, I've increased the distance a bit because I believe that the default state was all the way down to zero, the low cut is at 60, the high cut is at 8.8, .8. I have 15% of early reflections and the level is at zero. For the delay I went with the vintage digital, for the reverb I went with the dynamic hall, and for modulation I went with tremolo auto pan. But there's one cool thing that I'm gonna show you now, which is this. First of all, I've unassigned the wah pedal because I'm not gonna use it uh, in this video. And the second thing, I've assigned that to uh, the intensity of the tremolo auto pan. At first, when you load this preset, your expression pedal will work as a volume pedal. I'm pushing the pedal right now. Uh, however, if you push down on the expression toe, uh, this will happen. The volume pedal will get disengaged and you'll be able to control the intensity of the tremolo auto pan. Honestly, I'm still not sure what this will do, but uh, I have a general idea how this uh, square wave shape and its intensity will modulate the sound. Anyway, let's get to it. Actually, the first thing that I'm gonna do is increase this channel volume because I've tried to play a chord right now and it's and it's way too quiet. So let's hear this preset now without any of the blocks engaged. And just to be uh, completely clean about this, I guess, I have the Carl Martin compressor limiter engaged right now on channel one, which is set if you want to know. Compression is at around one o'clock and the level is around 10 o'clock, so some compression, not too much level to get this completely dry and uninspiring sound. What's the first thing that you probably want to do when you're creating an ambient tone? Well, you want to add a bunch of reverb, and I have a feeling that ambient tone is almost a synonym for shitload of reverb. This is the new dynamic hall, which I haven't got a chance to use uh, much, but I'm gonna do it today. Okay, these are my starting settings, let's play a D minor and see what happens. Honestly, this video could stop right here because we have a reverb block that's set to 10 seconds of decay and to mix this up to 40%. And honestly, if you want an ambient tone, you don't have to do much else than this. However, I will complicate things a bit. The first thing that I'm gonna do is lower this motion because I will add hopefully some motion with the tremolo auto pen later. I'm also gonna increase this damping control up to let's say 6K. Already I feel rather lost in this ambient sound, so I'm gonna try to speed things up a bit. Let's engage the vintage uh, digital delay block.
also we have an overdrive right here so we can make things a bit more interesting I have the, the HANA drive, which is an emulation or an algorithm, better to say, of the Hermida's Zen drive. I also have a clone down there. If you didn't know about that, then I'm sure you did. So the Zen drive sounds like this. final block is the tremolo auto pan and I'm still not quite sure what's gonna happen here but I hope things are gonna end well or very bad <laughs> change it from this very aggressive square ray modulation down to sine modulation and let's try it now so sure about this uh, tremolo auto pen I had a different idea in my mind the one that included that square wave shape <laughs> That's it. I'll see you all next time. Bye all.